Hi everybody! Welcome back to our channel, or if it's our first welcome. time here, welcome! My name is Mel, this is my skyscraper husband, Adine, and together we are... <laughs> awkward! <laughs> We are indeed awkward. <laughs> but we're also known as Hustlin' Hooks here and over on Instagram. We are part-time plus resellers on eBay primarily, also some on Poshmark and a little bit on Etsy as well. Part-time plus because this was my first week full-time on eBay, well three days a week, and Adina is still working part-time on it outside of his corporate job. That's right. We are going to go over what has sold for us this weekend. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I just wanted to express some gratitude to everyone that's liked, subscribed previous videos, left nice comments, supported us in many different ways. So first of all, you know, thank you guys for doing that. That means a lot to us as we continue to grow our business, our YouTube channel, etc. If you haven't yet, do consider subscribing. We offer a lot of valuable information, number breakdowns, what sold videos, some hunting, thrifting, etc. We tend to explain things in a way where, you know, I think most people can relate and, and make sense out, out of it. So do that. Uh, click the like button on the video. It does help the video as well. Um, the purpose of this one, it's our weekend sales. It's Sunday. Our kid is napping. We're going to do as much as possible before she wakes up. And then we'll either conclude it most likely Monday afternoon or Monday evening. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's dive right in. Yeah. Okay, before I get into everything, I wanted to throw out some thank yous uh, to people who have sent us a couple things. The first one is definitely going to go in a new office once it's done. Every day I'm hustling. Truth. Uh, this is from Bridget. She says that she found this while thrifting and she's a seasonal eBay seller and went full time two years ago. That's awesome, Bridget. And she's loving her channel. Hashtag pots and pans. Thank you so much. We're going to look at this every day once we're, we're up and running in the garage. The next one, I don't have to show you because it's in Jessica's room. Uh, she's been loving on it. Uh, it's a Polly Pocket accessory, actually, and that came from Flip the World Texas. That's their website right there. He finds the craziest stuff in dumpsters. You guys have to go check him out. It is unreal. He has a YouTube channel and he's on Instagram. Uh, it's him and his wife. We'll also link his channel below so you can find it easier. Uh, that is Chris, Stacy, and a special little signature from their kid, Riley. Thank you so much for that. It's helping me spread my love of Polly Pockets to Jessica. Also, shout out to Taylor. He is Naptown Hustle on YouTube. We'll link his channel below as well. He bought something from our eBay store and he just said he wanted to buy something to support us and let us know that he appreciates our videos. He says he's learned so much and we've been instrumental in starting his own YouTube channel. So that is awesome. Good luck on your channel. We're gonna link that below, like I mentioned. That's Naptown Hustle. And then the last thank you is to someone who prefers to remain anonymous, but if you're watching this, you know who you are. So thank you very much for everything that you've sent us as well. So now let's get into what sold. The first thing I'm going over is a Philips Magnavox. It's a five disc CD player. It did come with the remote. It's back here attached to the cord here. We picked this up at a Goodwill for about $13 and we sold it for 65. And it probably looks heavy, but it's actually not heavy. So that will probably only be around maybe 10 to 15 to ship out. Toddy's here too. I know some of you guys really enjoy saying hello to her. Hi, Toddy. Toddy, you... it's the internets. It's the internets, people. You remember? They say such nice things about you, but they don't know how bad your breath smells. <laughs> so there's Toddy. She's enjoying it. She's hanging out with us. On to home goods. This kitchen aid blender, we sold it all together. We did not piece this one out. Goodwill, $15, and we sold it for $69. It's not ultra vintage in style. They're just very heavy duty. This is heavy. There's there's some weight to this. So they last a while and they're just very good blenders. This one is the base, similar model, but we did part this one out. We have $5 into this part and it sold for $36. Continuing with the home goods theme, this is 
one of those Vision Corning Wear. It's the Amber Glass. We have $3 into this one, and we sold it for $38. We didn't source it this year. As you know, we're starting to phase out glass. This Vision Wear, we may make exceptions for, though, because it does sell pretty well for us. And then last home goods I'm going to cover, hashtag pots and pans. This is an Amway iCook, and it's it's very difficult to see that logo. I'll kind of tilt it around. Maybe we'll get it in there. No. no. no anyway, the eye is like a little person, and then it's just cook, I cook. So got some good weight to it. They're made by Amway. Top quality, super clean. We found these at the bins. We found them separately, but it was $2 for the whole set, and we sold it this weekend for $60. That's a good flip. I'm going to hand it over to Dean. He's going to cover some more sales. Hi. So the first one, two of them actually sold, which is kind of funny. It's these Hot Wheels. It's uh, all six of them. It's the 51st anniversary collection. One sold today, one sold yesterday for $18 free shipping each. I picked them up retail arbitrage, which is just a basic, a fancy term to say I bought something retail and then try to flip it for more. It didn't really work out because I got a dollar into each car so it's only like a five dollar profit but that's the third out of five sets that sold so far really happy to see them go a really big pair of boots sold uh i paid up for these these are sorel sorel of course a fantastic brand these are like new condition paid up for and paid 25 dollars because when i did my research i saw that they were selling for about 90 to 120 uh, we accepted an offer of a hundred dollars for these and they only took about three days to sell so super happy to see them go Another pair of shoes sold. This is uh, Brooks, these Cascadias. I couldn't find the number on them, but I know they were Cascadias because I found similar. If you see the treads are just in excellent condition. They're not the prettiest shoe, but hey look, 45 bucks out the door, we have $6 into them. Obviously happy to see that type of return, especially on a pair of sneakers. A third pair of shoes sold. These are Johnson Murphy. Not a great brand, would not advise picking these up. Um, they're just the market is flooded and you can find that out by simply searching the brand and then looking at how many are available how many sold it's just not a great seller which reflects on how long it took for these to sell they sold on an offer of $25 on Poshmark pretty good condition overall it's just the, the brand it doesn't have really good uh, resale value after you know after they've been worn so hey happy to see them go next up in a bundle that I paid $150 for we found two copies of Lynx crossbow training they're both sealed brand new with these little zapper guns that, that you need or you can use to play the game sold uh, two of them for $25 each ship they should be first class as they're really light sold Royal Rumble for the Sega Genesis for 20 bucks shipped have about a dollar into this sold mini golf carnival for 16 bucks uh, within a day and a half have about a dollar into it Sold Mario Super Bros for the Wii for $37 shipped. Have about $10 into it from another bulk deal. And finally, this Rawhide, the complete first season, brand new sealed. We picked it up for three bucks a Goodwill, sold for 15 bucks shipped. Uh, medium mail is great because it's only like three dollars to ship it. Back to Melinda with more. One last household home good for you is this Breville. This was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Paid. 30 for it. This specific model, it's the Juice Fountain Elite and the model number is popped up in the title here somewhere. It has a crazy good sell through rate, which really helps when you're selling because it allows you to list higher. More people want them than how many there are. Like a lot more people want them than what's available. So I went high with this as I tend to do. It took less than a week to sell and it sold for the full listed price of $195. Super happy with that flip. Okay, next we have this broken calculator. It doesn't work. We don't know why it doesn't work. It just stopped working at some point in time. So we are selling it for parts and it sold for... I think it's funny to mention the backstory of that. It was the message. I'll, I'll pop up the message too just because it's so hilarious. So the person who bought it asked why it doesn't work and if it ever worked and it's like yeah it probably worked when it was unpacked out of the 
Anyways. Anyway, it doesn't work now, but we still sold it for parts, paid five, and we sold it for 27. Another quick flip, we picked this up last week from Goodwill, paid $5 for it. As you can see, it's new in box, so it didn't have to be like a crazy old or vintage game or anything. New in box just sells better, and it sold for $40. This is a Monster High doll. This is Rochelle Goyle. And we're gonna pop her up here, so I'm not gonna take her out of the bag because she has a lot of these loose accessories right now. She is the very last doll from our very first Monster High lot buy. Now this is not the buy that we recently did and have been selling lots. Uh, she was actually fell behind the box that she was in in this cold dark area in our storage and it was very sad so I'm, I'm sure she is also very happy that she's going to be going to a new home where she's not in a dark grave so these are two guitar heroes for the nintendo wii these are another bin find from our first trip we got these listed this week though um so we were a little behind on those they were $2 a piece and we sold, we lotted them up and then we sold them together for $90. So, and they break down so they'll be more compact to ship, which is always nice. Adine's gonna come back and probably knock out everything else. Clothing, so this is a piece by J. Crew. It has a dog on it. Monda picked it up for four bucks and it sold for 35. It'll ship first class, which is great because it's much cheaper. Another bins find. So this video has a couple things from the bins. This is just the Dickies overall. It's not vintage or anything. It's just, uh, you know, it's a work outfit. Picked it up for two bucks because it was heavier. It sold for $50. Uh, we pay shipping. We'll have to stuff it into something, but it'll ship for less than 10 bucks. We sold yet another buckle BKE uh, pair of jeans. This is Peyton's. Uh, really nice pair. They sold for $40 shipped. We paid five. This Adidas piece, this is something I picked up a long time ago, probably about a year ago now. So really happy just to see it move. It sold for only $25 with free shipping. I paid five. It'll be basically like a $7 profit. But look, rookie mistake, not something that we're going to pick up again, and it's out the door. A super fast sale. This only took three days to sell. This is a Nike jogging leggings piece with a little Nike swoosh head on the bottom. One that picked it up for four bucks, it sold for 28. Again, it's gonna ship first class for about three dollars. We found out that the full length uh, pants, like joggers like these, tend to sell a bit faster than the crops or the shorter version. So something just to keep in mind as you're looking through the athletic wear. And they're Nike Dry Fit, which is uh, something we've sold several times. Monda also picked up a couple of Wii boards this week and they sold really fast. Uh, this one had a bunch of corrosion on the batteries, so I took the old ones out. We recycle our batteries so I can show off our recycle pile. So this is how many batteries we have saved so far from the landfill. So just make sure when you guys are dealing with old batteries, find a place that recycles them. They're extremely toxic, they're not, they're not good for the environment. These should not be buried in a landfill. So collect them and then get rid of them the proper way. Anyways, once that corrosion was cleaned out, it worked perfectly fine. So this one sold for $35 shipped. It doesn't have the game or the adjustable uh, pegs on the bottom. And then there's another one right behind me. There it is. This one also sold for $35. So two of the Wii boards sold this weekend. Um, one that picked up one for $4 and one for $5. So not huge profit on them, but they're out the door and of course, that's the name of the game. We want to see this stuff go. Some Poshmark sales. Poshmark did pretty well for us this weekend. This is a Carhartt piece. It's distressed, um, you know, which basically means it's a little bit beat up. I picked up a, a few of these for 10 bucks each off of a kid who's moving down to Florida who won't need warm clothing anymore. This one sold for $40 within like three days of listing, which is great. A pair of Helix jeans sold for $37. Uh, Helix is a great brand. They're pretty easy to identify. I mean, that's that's a pretty big spell out. They also have these crosses in the back pockets usually. So again, five bucks for those. They pay for shipping. A new with tags Wrangler cowboy style jeans sold. Again, five bucks at Goodwill. These sold for twenty-eight dollars on Poshmark. And another bins fine. So these Wrangler rigs we picked up for about a dollar 29 maybe a little bit less at the bins 
They sold for $22 on Poshmark. They pay for shipping. So next up, it's Sunday before the Super Bowl. So go Chiefs. If, if you guys are watching, I'm on the smiling behind the camera. Uh, what, what's going to happen next is we're going to pack a bunch of this stuff before we drop our daughter off. And then later on tonight or tomorrow, at some point we're going to conclude this video. We'll also go through the numbers to show you exactly how much we made off of this stuff and give you a couple of packing tips along the way. So stay tuned. It's now Monday. We're uh, packing everything up. Just wanted to show you a couple of packing tips. The first one is relatively straightforward. This is that Pictionary game. Now it's, you know, it's a long rectangle and I don't have a box specifically to fit it. So I'm going to customize one. So I'm just going to use USPS shoe box. Now, this is just a USPS box. It's priority mail, so you have to put a priority mail label on it. But it's not a flat rate box, so you can modify the box however you want to, as long as it ships USPS priority. So all I'm going to do is, I have one, I'm going to put it in, I'm going to use craft paper to get rid of the gap, and then I'm just going to have a second one ready, and all I'm going to do is squeeze one inside of the other, obviously after I put in the uh, the packing material. And that should fit, it'll be a little snug, push it down, all I'm going to do then is tape up the corners and there you go, relatively straightforward without wasting a bunch of time making a custom box. Now this ripped a little bit, but tape will fix it. The second one I wanted to show are these Sorel boots, obviously these are quite large, they're a men's size 13, you can just you can tell that they're big shoes. We're not going to waste customizing another box because they're made out of rubber and nylon. They're not going to be damaged. So all we're going to do is simply stack them on top of each other like so. Find a 24 by 24 poly mailer. I'm just going to get them inside of there and that's it. So shipping doesn't have to be very complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. I'll show you a couple more after I'm done with this. Here is one more packing tip. This is that Bruville juicer. Obviously it's uh, pretty big. I already placed it inside of this box, but you can see that there's clearly a lot of space that's just extra. So someone asked for us to demonstrate how we use this box trimming tool. So I'll show you how to do that. And then we're basically just going to trim down the box, put some craft paper in the voids and ship it. So the way this tool works is that you basically loosen up this knob and then go down to the level you need to cut it, which is about there, and then you just tighten the knob, like so. Once you tighten the knob, you just basically start at one end. You need two hands, so I can't really show you how to. Maybe you can set up the camera in here. But basically, you just press on the top while holding the handle at the bottom and press in and then you just scooch it. So it leaves that crease. You do that all the way around and then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut here and up and then I'm just going to fold the box in. So, so I'm going to do that real quick and show you what it looks like. Okay, now that I have everything creased, I'm just going to grab a blade, go there and go up. Once I do that on all four corners, I'll be able to shut the flaps in. Now the flaps are all cut, it's pretty easy. Because of that crease, it'll just fold down. And obviously it's really nice that this unit came in its original box, so it's pretty easy to ship. And then for any extra cardboard, I'm just gonna trim it so it com completes the box. And that's basically it. Hopefully that helps you guys out with these bigger packages. Okay, we're done packing. This is what it looks like. This is our weekend sales. We did pack up a couple from today. Lots of nice small things, which is really good. And then obviously a couple of the bigger things. The juice machine right here was only $27 to ship, which is awesome uh, with FedEx. So let's go through all the numbers. All right, let's go over the numbers. So the gross sales this weekend was 1391 221 is what we paid for all of the items that we sold or cost of goods. We paid roughly $145 in fees across eBay and Poshmark. It cost us $271 to ship everything. Remember, we offer free shipping on all of our products. 
which left us a net profit of 754 of which we took 25% and set it aside for taxes which is roughly $188 which then leaves us with a cash profit of $566 selling new stuff on the internet that's gonna do it for this one guys we really do appreciate you watching thank you for everything thank you for your support if you want to check out that spreadsheet we've talked about that in previous videos that's linked down below so far all the folks that have been using it are really happy with it so we obviously are happy to hear that if you have any questions on it send us a message or a comment below also leave a thumbs up it really does help us and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content if you enjoyed it if it brought a smile to his face and uh, we'll see you in the next one thank you